welcome to Freaking Effects, where I'm gonna show you today how to create a Hotline Miami title, like this one that you can see right over here. For making this, you're gonna need a font called Disco Duck, so if you don't have it, go search for it on uh, Google. Um, we will be making this on Adobe Photoshop, and this has a normal difficulty, so you will have to have some experience on Photoshop and so. And in case you're wondering about this uh, frame, it's about a, it's a screenshot about a project that I'm working on that I will be releasing on November on my channel Thunder Zebra. So if you'd like to check it out, I invite you to subscribe there to be ready when I release it. Okay, so we can go to Photoshop. Um, we will open a new file. You can put any value that you want. I leave this one, 1920 by 1080. Okay. Um, we will start with it. So I'm gonna put here Thunder. Um, I'm gonna use this uh, this Kodak italic italic font. We'll put it over there. Oops. We'll rotate it. Maybe a little bit, just like that. And now I will put another text here. And I'm gonna use. Uh, impact regular font just like this one just like that and now this one this impact font I'm gonna put it on uh, we'll, we'll open the options here and make sure that you have the um, cursive tool just like that and I'm gonna make sure that I didn't Put it yes I did okay no just like this now we can uh, well we should start by changing the the colors and so so I'm just just gonna put this a little bit smaller something like that okay now um, we will start by taking actually the first word and separating it just a little bit something like that um, we will want to make a pattern for this um, font so that we can see an image over here because I don't know if you have noticed that uh, on the hotline word it has like some palm trees in the background and so so we'll go on the internet we'll search in Google images and we'll look for palm tree Miami maybe um, we will look for a pattern that is something like this one, but maybe that has some more palm trees. Maybe someone like this. This one looks okay. So I will save this one. All right. And now what we want to do is uh, we want to take the image that we just that we just downloaded. We want to add it into a new um, file or however this is called. And we want to go to File. Uh, what was this? Sorry, an Edit, Define Pattern, and we can give it a name. I'm going to call this Palm Trees. Okay. Um, we want to do the same thing with a Grunge Texture. So we'll go here, Grunge Texture. And actually, anyway, anyone can work. Uh, I will go maybe for this one. Okay. We'll call this Grunge. All right. And uh, now we will do exactly the same thing that we just did. We will take our Grunge texture, go to Edit, Define Pattern. We'll call this same crunch. Okay, now we can go to our um, to our textures, and we will come here on the thunder word, and we will go to layer uh, layer style pattern overlay, and it will op open this uh, box that we can see over here, and we can select now different patterns. We will select the one that we just created. And we want to put put it somewhere over this. We can see that uh, there's a cut over here, so I'm going to 
kill it up just a little bit. Or maybe put it like this so that you can't see the cut. I think it looks nice like that. And now we will go also to gradient overlay. We'll put zero, sorry, 90, just like that. And we'll give some colors to this. I'm gonna put here the first one, uh, very soft pink, almost white then going a little bit harder then over here going more close to red something like that we'll put a again another soft one over here maybe I can add here one that is even more close to red something like this just like that and now we just want to do the same thing but on the opposite side this one over here and this one over here I will delete this one okay more or less actually I'm going to leave the white one more or less until you have something like this okay so when I rotate it a little bit One, oops, 91, 92, more or less like that. Okay, and I'm going to load the opacity a little bit so that we can see our pattern here in the background, just like that. And we'll click on uh, stroke just over here, and we'll get now. Uh, more yellowish tone, maybe something like this, more or less. Okay, when I go now to the bevel and emboss, I wanna make sure that we put an inner bevel. So we'll put more depth, bigger size, something like that. I'm gonna put it coming from here from the opposite side and now uh, the original the original image has some shadows over here but it doesn't have has this shine that we can see so we will put the highlight off and we'll put the opacity a little bit down something over there okay so little by little this starts to look a little bit better now we're going to add a shadow also I forget about that we'll put a we'll use a drop shadow size down we'll put the distance but right on the opposite side something more or less like that just over there and this starts to look good now maybe a little bit more distance Okay, so now we'll go on the Zebra word and we will use the grunge texture that we be, that we did before. So we'll go to layer, uh, layer style over here, pattern overlay, and we'll select now the grunge texture that we created. I'm going to scale it down a little bit over here. Okay, and now want to add another gradient overlay but this one will be more simple this one will be on top a really shine blue like this one and the other one will be a more darker blue like this one over here make sure that you have it here on normal mode okay maybe you can put the opacity a little bit down, something like that. And you can try changing the the modes until you see uh no definitely not color dodge. Maybe normal. Looks okay like that. Now we'll do the same thing that we did on this word and thunder and we will add now another stroke to this one. 
um, it can be the same color as here and we will add now another shadow but this shadow will be a, will have a little bit more of distance and will be some dark blue but a little bit desaturated so maybe something like this more or less and now we want to take the the first word the hotline word and we want to duplicate this so I'm going to duplicate layer okay oops we want to take the one that is below we'll put it somewhere over here and now we want to disable the pattern so that it only has the color and we will also uncheck the gradient overlay and we will check color overlay we can select now a purple tone something like this a little bit more desaturated like that more or less and the same thing with the shadow oh I'll make sure that you of course turn off the bevel and boss and the stroke and with the shadows maybe we can put a dark purple something like that more or less okay now we'll duplicate this one again we'll put it below and we'll put it over here more or less and this one will be orange so we go to color overlay we select an orange and maybe we can select exactly the same color for the shadows so we'll just take this color more or less okay we'll duplicate it one last time Take layer over there maybe over here and this one will be a yellow actually I'm gonna take the first one this one looks yellow actually I'm gonna put it more close to orange over there same thing with the shadow all right and the last one has to be yellow something like that more or less it's gonna be here And now the very last thing that uh, we should do so, so that we have this done already is putting some uh, blood splat at the background. So we'll go here and look for blood splatter PNG. And we, we can look for anyone really. But I'm gonna... Okay, this one looks good. Well, actually it has a small... Uh, quality maybe this one same damn it this one okay definitely this one will work out so we will save it and we will put it over here and if you want you can even duplicate this layer so that it looks more strong or so that you can change the size, the rotation, put it more along the screen, like this more or less. And now by, before we finish, we can do some less stuff that will be basically taking all the titles that we have created, putting it putting them into one group, duplicating it. We'll turn off the one at the back. 
we will convert it to a smart object and now we can take this tool over here the touch tool so that we can well click first okay now so that we can put some highlights to it so that it has a little bit of shine and so so you can take highlights shadows mic tones something like this I don't know if you can see the difference for here maybe so that you know that it doesn't have the same texture along the world title so this was basically it I hope that you enjoyed and I hope that you find it helpful uh, this tutorial and I'm sorry if I was too silent I don't know what's wrong with me today I'm just really tired and I'm probably going to have a nap now so I hope that you enjoyed and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and please let me know if I could help you with any kind of uh, doubt that you can have with After Effects Photoshop or any other kind of uh, software by Adobe or whatever so thank you a lot for uh, watching and I really hope to see you in my next tutorial so see ya